guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm Trina and I'm going to teach you today how to take off your gel X tips because mine are about almost three weeks and it's time to take these things off. So I'm going to show you how to do it the right way without damaging your nails or your client's nails. Um, this will only be like a couple minutes. It's really super quick. I'm going to show you all the tools that you need and where you can get them at the link below. And remember to like, comment, subscribe um, so I can do more videos like this if you like it. So yeah, let's hop into this video. Okay, cool. So you'll have your nails like this ready to take off. If you have some space under here, just check to see where your real nail is and then where to cut the extra tip off at. So I know my nails are super short because I'm just restarting over for the new year. So I just clip off each one of these and you'll do that for yourself or your client just so that you don't have to file off everything because there's no point in keeping the nail on and filing all this extra if you're going to cut it off anyway. Okay, so now that all the nails are off and cut, now you're gonna take your nail bits. This is one from Amazon that I have linked. So this is for the girls that aren't spending too much money on them and that's totally fine. Um, you'll have these two bits, right? And they look pretty similar, but I would say go with the red one. And if you can see the red is a little bit more softer, the blue one has really sharp little teeth. This might be a little bit too rough for the beginner. So just use the red one to be safe because you don't want too much tension on even the tip, so. And you go to your e-file and pop that in, and you're going to turn up to the speed that you are good at. I have been doing this for a couple years, so I'm more like 25, 26, um, but starting out, you can do like 15, 18 um, RPM. So you're just gonna go ahead and file like that. I just go in like little straight downward motions, just so that it's clean. And be very careful when you get to the cuticle. You do not want to cut someone. This will definitely hurt them because you don't want to do this. That's what you don't like. It's just too much. Just do nice long strokes and it will just come off and just be flawless. So you're just going to do this for all of the nails. And when you have like this little corner here, don't forget to push the skin back. Like take your pinky where it's anchored, push that skin back and then get in there. So don't never be nervous to like pull on someone's skin. Be very gentle, of course, but even like this, I'll show you. Push this side back, right? Push this back so that you can get in that little corner. Like that. And so you'll just do this for all the nails. Okay, so now when all your nails are off, you're going, let me just turn the light on for you guys actually. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. Okay, so when your nails are all off like this, you're going to get acetone, pure acetone. This one I use from CVS, it's the same thing because it works on tips, but definitely use pure acetone. You do not want to use nail polish remover, nothing will happen. And you're going to get these aluminum foil with the little pad inside. These ones I get off Amazon, they work just fine. They're about like $8 and it saves you time from getting aluminum foil and then putting the cotton ball in it. It's already um, in here. So you're gonna do that. Do um, the acetone in there. Take the finger, let me see, like this. Pull down and then put under one or the, under the other. Sorry if this is not in the perfect view. Wrap that around. Oh my God, I'm like throwing up gang signs. Um, and then push that down and squeeze so it's tight on. Like that, I'm just one more time because I feel like I wasn't really in view. I'm so sorry guys. Again, take the finger, do one side, do the other side down, twist, 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 pull this bit down and squeeze and that's how you wrap the finger and you'll be looking like an alien for a little bit or your client but that's fine and you're gonna leave these on for a good like five to ten minutes um ten minutes if you're in um you know you make sure everything's off sometimes it, it gets off in five depends on how much gel was on and what's really left on the nail but five to ten is like really the sweet spot and you'll just let her sit. Remember, if you do have clients, what I always give them during appointments are these, which is a little stylus pen, and they can be on their phone so that, you know, they're not just sitting there. So they can still use their phone in the meantime to, you know, tap and all that good stuff. Okay, guys, so when you're ready to take these off, you're literally just gonna pop it off. You can always push them off, but me, I just 
turn on my little e-file and sorry this looks crazy it's going to be lifted already so it's going to be easy just to remove that just like that see and then literally just repeat for these nails see how it's all lifted and up it's going to be super easy just to do a couple swipes and your gel x tip will be off This one is super lifted up, so it's going to be very easy to just get this baby right off. The thumb always has the most gel, so don't feel away if you maybe have to rewrap it again, but the thumb always takes the longest because it's normal. Okay, so your nails should look something like this when you're all done. And thank you guys for watching my video. Hopefully this was helpful on how to remove your Gelex tips. And I do have a video on how to apply Gelex tips the right way. So let me know, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see any other types of videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.